Social Unionist MP Danny Kinahan is with us uh, this morning. Good morning. Good morning uh, to you. Um, what's made your mind up? Because earlier this week, your party was saying that you were keeping your options open. What's changed? What more information have you got? What's changed is that we've sat down together as a party, uh, absolutely everyone, and discussed the way forward. And the point of principle is that we still have IRA, it looks like, linked to our government. And we had taken the great risks in the Belfast Agreement to get mutual respect into government so that we had government for everybody. And it has become absolutely clear as you've watched everything going on, that that no longer exists. So it is time to remove our minister from the executive. When did you think, Danny, the IRA had gone away? We've all hoped the IRA has gone away. No, when did you think they'd gone away? When do we think they'd gone away? We No, it's a question of when did you know? And we gave them their chance. They've had their chance for years. Now we have the proof coming through that they still exist and that they haven't gone away. We've known, even from Gerry Adams' awful comment, that they haven't gone away, you know. We've known there's a chance that they were still there. And you stayed in government? We stayed in government because we hoped. We hoped we were going to get somewhere, and we have not got anywhere. The DUP and Sinn Féin have not got us anywhere. So now that we know that the IRA haven't gone away, now is the time to move. When you say, you're, when you say your, your party met and, and discussed this, and that's what's changed, are you sure... What wasn't discussed during that meeting was not what was good for Northern Ireland, but what was good for your party, that you saw a chance as also unionists to get one over on the DUP to do to them what uh, they did to David Trimble. This is all about party politics. Nothing to do with the good of Northern Ireland, is it? It is about the good of Northern Ireland. This is about trying to get better government in Northern Ireland for everybody and yes, politics is all part of it, but no, this is a decision made by us because we now know there is no chance of trust with Sinn Féin and all the links that go on. We have got to get to better government so that we can build here for everybody. And that was one of the absolute key points Mike made yesterday, for everybody. This is for nationalist, unionist, everybody. And you, you're... you're... Uh, risking the executive, risking stability in this country down to the word of one man, the chief constable, when he tells you that, 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 that members of the IRA were involved in this? You're believing the chief constable, are you? Absolutely. If you can't believe the head of your police, you shouldn't be here. We have reformed the police. So much has happened. And here you have someone willing to take the risk. And he will only have taken that risk because that is what he believes you can't, you is can't, right. You can't possibly put all uh, your stock in the word of one man, be it a chief constable or not. Why do you believe the chief constable so much? Are you really telling me that we can't trust our chief constable? It, you have to be able to trust your chief constable. You have to make decisions as the days come through. And if your chief constable is telling you that there are high-level links into government, that we have the IRA that are still there, we have to do things that get us better government. Dead on. Dead on. So you absolutely have to trust the chief constable. Thank you for confirming that. That's the same chief constable who says the IRA is now promoting a peaceful agenda. That's the same chief constable who's saying the IRA is committed to following a political path. And that is the same chief constable, Danny Kinahan, who is saying the IRA is no longer engaged in terrorism. Your party is doing this for party political processes. The same Chief Constable is saying the IRA is no longer engaged in terrorism. What on earth is your party doing? It is, we're doing exactly the right thing for Northern Ireland and you know that and you're just pushing us at that point. The no, point is what he said last week is telling us that the IRA are still there. We now know for certain. What about the bit that the IRA is no longer engaged in terrorism? Yeah, but you're missing the point. He has said they are there and involved, and we're involved with the murder. And that is the absolute key. You're just picking on the other bits that dilute it. You're we're just ignoring the other bits where the <laughs> chief constable... It's not a laughing matter, is it? No, it, it's a laughing matter for how you're dealing with it. What I'm trying to say is, look, focus on where we're trying to get to. We are trying to get to a government here that works for everybody in Northern Ireland. You have a stormant that fails. When I knocked on all the doors of everyone that I could get to, 
for the election. They are fed to the teeth with Stormont not working. That's a matter, and now you're revealing what your party's all about. You're wanting to tell the public Stormont isn't working and you are the alternative. This is about more than this. You, are you also putting all your trust in the same Chief Constable who has said he accepts the bona fides of the Sinn Féin leadership regarding the rejection of violence? You trust him in that too, do you? I would like to question him on that. We, we have to, but, but you can't because you absolutely to... trust him. You've just told us. Well, yeah, but you're picking holes in the thing. I'm, you're dead right, you, I am. You know exactly where I'm trying to get to. We have to trust, and we do trust, our Chief Constable. So do you trust the Chief Constable when he says that Sinn Féin is absolutely rejecting violence? Yeah, but you're only taking one sentence out Well, let's it. take Put that one sentence. No, no. no. Go let's all take... the way... No, I'm not going to move on. If you go back Is to it the a point... misprint? No, he has told us that they were linked to the murder last week. That is the No, absolute... he hasn't. Under no circumstances no, he's... has the Chief Constable told you okay, that Sinn Féin is linked to the murder. He's that it is very likely. But again, no, he hasn't. Has he? Um, That's a revelation. Well, I haven't got all the, all the words in front of Well, hold on a minute. You, no, you've just said it. You've just said that the Chief Constable has advised you that Sinn Féin were linked to that murder. Are you sure? No, I didn't say Sinn Féin. Right. Well, we, we're talking about IRA being linked to, and I know um, the, the drugs name that was used. That is what we've been told. So let me come now. back, let me come back, Danny, to uh, Sinn Féin. The Chief Constable, who you've said at the beginning of this interview, you absolutely trust his judgment, you absolutely trust him. He is saying that he absolutely trusts the bona fides of the Sinn Féin leadership regarding the rejection of violence. Do you? I need to know more detail of that because... You're on a completely different line. I'm trying to get you back to the point that we are here making the decision on the fact that we can no longer have the mutual respect that we wanted in government and okay. it is time to change and go into opposition. How, That's how, we... how on earth is your party... You, you've just got a text there. It's, it could be anybody. Maybe it's your leader advising. I don't know. Um, how on earth... Can you have already made a decision to walk from the executive while you're telling us this morning you still need more detail on the Chief Constable's assessment that Sinn Féin are absolutely I'm not, wedded I'm to peace? I'm saying we trust the Chief Constable and he said the IRA are linked to that murder. That is the key point. No, the key point is surely distinguishing between the IRA and Sinn Féin and the key point is that the Chief Constable is saying Sinn Féin absolutely is rejecting any violence whatsoever. Why is your party walking away from Sinn Féin? OK, because we are told that the IRA exists, that it still has a command structure right up to the highest level. That highest level, if you take that on, means it has to have some linkage or seem to have some linkage to what is going on at Storm. So, and it is time to take a stand. But how does that, how does it tally? How is it logical that, that your position is that the highest level would be within Sinn Féin and yet the Chief Constable says they absolutely reject violence? How can both sit side by side? Well, you know full well if we go back through our past and most of us, Sinn Féin and the provisional IRA were one of the same. So one there... is the political. We don't know. We, we, for years we were hoping that they... IRA had gone away, that we had Sinn Féin in government in a form that we could totally trust them. Now it seems that we have not got that and we have to make decisions. But, but how, how can it be logically possible that Sinn Féin were involved in this and yet Sinn Féin um, have absolutely rejected any violence? Can two sit beside each other? Sorry, say that again? How can it be logical that you're saying Sinn Féin were somehow linked to... To, to those who um, have, have perpetrated this murder and yet Sinn Féin also totally reject violence. Can two sit beside each other? No, I, I think they can't. And that is the whole that we are left with. And we have to make our decision as a party. But you, we... but, but, but you must believe that they can because you totally trust the Chief Constable. You're walking away from the executive based on what the Chief Constable's told you. I'm, we're walking away from the executive because we want to get to better government for Northern Ireland. Ah. And... We, as Mike said yesterday, 
no, Sinn Féin are denying they have anything to do with the murder. We need, and we will in time, learn more. But you know through various other murders that have happened in the past that in time they have been linked. Now that we have a chief constable that is telling us that the structure is there, that it's linked to this murder, it is time for change. And that is why we are pulling out. It's a point of principle. Chief Constable also said we are currently not in possession of information that indicates that the provisional IRA involvement was sanctioned or directed at a senior or organisational level within the provisional IRA or the broader Republican movement. You trust them in that or you're ignoring that bit too? No, I go, go back to our point. We To that question. Sorry, we'll say it again. The, the Chief Constable is saying that they have no information that the broader Republican movement, in other words, Sinn Féin, mm-hmm. they have no information that Sinn Féin was involved, sanctioned or directed anything to do uh, with this murder. Yes, but we uh, go back to the point. We are told that the IRA still exists that it has a senior level still working and the functions are all there. We cannot any longer exist on the trust when so often in the past it's proved us wrong. Let the thing now play out and we will find out if Sinn Féin have absolutely no links. Let the we, thing... Hold on a moment. We, we know, or we, sorry, not we know, but we feel that now is the time to move out. Are you serious? Evidence. Are you serious in what you've just said? Let the thing play out and we will find out if Sinn Féin have any links. So you don't know, you're not sure, and yet you're walking out of the executive? No, we know based on as much evidence being given, especially what has come from the chief council. No, you don't. You're all over the place. Listen listen to what you just said. Let the thing play out and we will see if Sinn Féin have any links. We are not all over the place. Let the thing play out. You know this has to play out, and you know where we stand on it. It, Every time in the past it has played out, we have found that there has been linkage, that there has been IRA behind the murders, and we now must take a stance. The principle is... When, Danny, was the continual existence of the IRA a deal-breaker for the Ulster Unionist Party? When we got the proof that we got from the Chief Constable. This is where we started on this. But he's told you that Fianna have had nothing to do with it. He's told us that the IRA... Go back to that point. No. No, I'm... He has told you that Sinn Féin have had nothing to do with this. He hasn't quite said it that way. I go back to the point. Sorry, he hasn't quite said it that way. I accept the bona fides of the Sinn Féin leadership regarding the rejection of violence. Go back to the point. Sinn Féin also have said that the IRA have not gone away. And the chief... No, Sinn Féin have absolute, complete and utter nonsense. No, Jerry, Sinn Féin have told you the IRA... Investigate. Sinn Féin have told you the IRA doesn't exist. OK, so when did that comment that continually been put out that the IRA haven't gone away, you know. So you've just said as well that Sinn Féin have told you the IRA haven't gone away? Are you listening to Jerry Adams saying they don't exist? I'm Are li- you listening to Jerry Kelly telling you they I'm don't exist? I'm listening to the same, what Mike called quite rightly, the single transferable speech of denial that we've had continually. They haven't, we are told now, have gone away. And we've had that continually thrown at us and the Chief Constable and the Secretary of State say they haven't gone away. What more do you want? So when was it a deal-breaker, the existence of the IRA? We've gone back through this when the Chief Constable made his statements last week. But you don't totally believe the Chief Constable anymore. I said we do, right at the beginning. So you, you've tried to pick different sentences and groups out of it. We have to get to the point we need proper okay. government here in Northern Ireland, and that's what we've got to get to. And, and when, Danny, you then said... So you've said that, look, when the Chief Constable's told you the IRA exists, that's the deal-breaker. Why didn't you ask in the past? We did, continually, and I haven't obviously got paperwork and detail to prove that. We have continually asked. And what were you told? so has everybody. We're always given the same denial, the same speeches in the press. No, did you ask the Chief Constable? We've often been speaking to the Chief Constable. And what did he tell you? I don't know, because you're going back 20 years over different... No, I'm talking about over recent times. I don't know because I'm not on the policing board, but we have asked and we're always pushing because we need to know and we've then discovered later that the IRA were involved. Who did the the Unionist Party think killed Paul Quinn in 2007? 
I don't know off the top. I, I don't know the details of that one. Paul Quinn was, was murdered just months after the DUP Sinn Féin power sharing deal. It's 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 quite a high profile murder. You're not aware of it no, whatsoever. No, I know there's a whole lot of them going through. I do not know the details, and I can't go into the detail of every single one. You don't know the detail about Paul Quinn. Not with me here. No. His family blamed the IRA. Sure. Senior's party did nothing at the time in terms of walking from the executive. Didn't I would have thought get the same confirmation that we are getting now, but equally. There have been times in government where you've got to try and keep everything on the road. Now is the time to stop and try and change. Nothing to do with the fact there's an election coming next year? There's always elections coming. No, there's not. There are, so every three years you've got elections of different types. There is always, it is doing what is right. Why did your party leader, uh, Mike Nesbitt, stand shoulder to shoulder with loyalist uh, political groups who are linked to loyalist paramilitaries last July when they were announcing the graduated response? Because we were, we are unionists, we're all working to try and find a better way forward and you go and you talk to people, you work with them. Work with parties linked to loyalist paramilitaries, do you? Yep, you try, you work with everybody. I would spend a great deal of my time in my patch working with absolutely everybody from all sides. So when Mike Nesbitt stood shoulder to shoulder um, with the PUP and the UPRG mm -hmm. last year, that was in the same year that Loyalist paramilitaries uh, carried out 42 paramilitary-style assaults. That was in the same year that Loyalist paramilitaries carried out six paramilitary-style shootings. And Mike Nesbitt stood side by side with the political wings of those loyalist gangsters. Absolutely. Our job as politicians is to work with, talk to everyone and try and lead things forward. And if Sinn Féin had have walked out of the executive, if Sinn Féin had have said, look at Mike Nesbitt standing side by side with those loyalist political parties linked to loyalist gangsters mm -hmm. who, have, who have carried out 42 assaults, well, what the Welsh Unionist Party would have said. He would have criticised them for it. There's no hypocrisy here? We have here. to try it. There's always lines where you have to cross as things change. Um, if, you know, that was exactly the right thing to do, to try and work with mm. everybody to get away from the protest, to get to a working Northern Ireland. That hasn't worked. And in this case, we think the best way forward is to go into opposition and try and make government here work by having a proper opposition. You're... Uh, party leader has big questions to answer, doesn't he? Oh. Massive questions to answer. I think we've got a phenomenally good leader. He works incredibly hard trying to lead us forward and pull everyone together. We have a really good united party that is showing people what is wrong with the government at Stormont and trying to make it better. That's what we're in politics for. Um, the Paul Quinn murder that you didn't know much about, your party leader did, Mike Nesbitt. Yes when he said uh, this week, this is typical of Jerry Adams, mm -hmm. uh, he said, ignoring reality and trying to deflect attention from what is there for all yeah. to see, whether it was the murders of Paul Quinn. Yeah. Jerry Adams lacks credibility. Even his own current and former supporters recognise that. So he was clearly linking the Paul Quinn murder to the yeah. IRA. And yet your party didn't walk after that. I wonder why. Look, we are on the timing now that we think it is time to not walk away. We are not walking away from government. We are going into opposition. And I think that has to be absolutely clear. And now is the right timing to do it. We've given them the chance so often in the past, and they've let us down. And now that we've been given that extra little bit of evidence, the point of principle is trust no longer exists. It is time to go into opposition. Let me just, let me, let me just, let me just get this right again. So Mike Nesbitt, your party leader, knew that the IRA killed Paul Quinn and yet he didn't ask if the IRA existed. I That's logical too, isn't I, it? I don't know the details of, of that time. I know what Mike said yesterday uh, and the others. You know, we heard later that the IRA were behind the murder of Paul Quinn. And yet you didn't... Well, if you heard the IRA were behind it, what did you do? Why didn't you walk then? I don't know the details of where we were. We will have always sat there deciding what we do. 
But we now have much stronger evidence from the Chief Constable and now is the time to take that decision. Maybe your party leader should stop standing shoulder to shoulder beside <coughs> loyalist parties linked to loyalist paramilitaries if he's taking this stance. No, you, we will go on and on trying to do the right thing for Northern Ireland every time. We will talk to whoever we've got okay. to, but now is the time. We need opposition. We've got to get Stormont working.